Hi, I'm Hassan, the lecturer here at the Institute of Medical Education. And today we're going to look at solutions to section three of ACES GAMS at Green Booklet, specifically practice test one, uh, unit one, questions one to four. So in this stimulus, we're told that M represents female embryos and F represents uh, male embryos. So we're also told that an embryo assigned, whether it be 1M, 2M, 3M, it represents a masculinized female, whereas 1F, 2F, 3 or 4, so on, it represents a feminized male. So the key to answering this unit uh, is by filling in the gaps as shown in this table below. So we're told in the stimulus that embryo 2 corresponds to pattern 1F, embryo 4, 2F, embryo 7, 2M, and embryo 9, 1M. Recall as well in the stimulus, we're told that if you see a pattern of, say, for example, 1F, it's a male embryo in between both a male and female. But this male embryo is going to be feminized because it's in close proximity to a female embryo. Whereas 2F represents a male embryo in between two female embryos, which means that this male is going to be more feminine than, so, than the uh, male in embryo 2. So just bear in mind this when we take a look at the upcoming questions. So if we draw this table, um, so 1F means that we're going to have a male in between female and male, so we can write that down. And then obviously 2F, similar scenario, so it's going to be two females. Look at the other side, so 2M means a female in between two males. And then finally 1M is just a female between a male and a female. So once we draw that, we can move on to the questions and hopefully in the exam, you can uh, power through these questions. So in the first question, um, regarding the differential development of secondary sexual characteristics, there is no mention of uterine uh, temperature nor uh, location of the embryo uh, to the ovary in a stimulus. So we can kind of cross off A and B. We're kind of left with C and D because there is a mention of the uh, hormonal environment that affects this. However, bear in mind, um, there isn't much about the maternal role in uh, release of hormones. What we are told and when we read the stimulus is that it's made apparent that the positioning of the embryos to one another also affects the development. It kind of suggests the influence of embryo produced hormones rather than, uh, I think it says maternally produced hormones. So the answer is going to be D. So that's the answer for question one. So if we move on to the next question, I'll just remove this here. So the next question, um, it says of the embryos one, two, three, four, and five, how many are male? So if we take a look at our table that we draw, we drew earlier. So we can see that there are one, two, three males and two females. So clearly the answer is going to be three, which is going to be a. So question uh, three, question three states of the following embryos, which one will develop the most feminine features? So if we take a quick look at A, so A is embryo two, that's a male, and B is embryo four, so they're both male. And the question's asking which would develop the most feminine features. So we know straight away if we're going to get females, these would be, even though they are going to be more feminized because of their proximity to females, they're still going to be uh, less feminine than actual females. So that's why if we take a look at the other options, we've got embryo 9 and 10. So embryo 9 is a female and embryo 10 is a female. We know straight away that the answer can't be A or B because they're males. So it's going to be either 9 or 10. So recall that obviously the proximity of, a say, a female to a male makes it more masculinized. But the question is asking which will develop the most feminine features. And we know that a 1M means that this female is more close proximity to a male. So it's going to be more masculinized. Whereas this embryo 10 is just has a female neighboring it, which means it's going to be the most feminine on the list. So therefore, the answer for three is going to be D. So it's going to be embryo 10. 
So if we take a look at the last question here in this package, um, so we just clear the screen here. So, uh, sorry, in this unit. So in mice, the sexual characteristics of an individual are determined by, now this is a trick question. So in the stimulus, we they harped on about how um, the location of the embryo to other embryos and the um, level of embryo produced hormones can affect um, the sexual characteristics. But don't forget, in placental mammals, the presence of a Y chromosome determines sex. So normally cells from, say, females uh, contain two X chromosomes, whereas males are X and Y. Um, so therefore, uh, yes, it's obvious that hormones are involved because it says that in stimulus, but don't get confused here. So the answer must also include genotype and uh, hormones. So the answer must be C. So don't get confused there. So if you have any more questions or you thought of anything else, please let us know. Pop them into the comment section below. We'd love to help. Also, if you want to contact us directly, um, we'd love to help you as well. We'd love to have a chat. Thanks for your time. Bye now.